Hello everybody, uh, welcome to chapter two. And in chapter two, we're gonna be discussing several different topics, but we're gonna focus on speed, velocity, acceleration, and distance. And what these videos are gonna mainly address are the calculations and formulas behind them. I'll give you a little bit of the ideas behind them, but we're gonna focus these videos on the, the mathematics. Now, as far as symbols, they're pretty straightforward. At lowercase s is speed, and since we're focusing on the metric system, we're gonna measure speed in meters per second, typically. Granted, if it's given a distance in miles and a time in hours, actually it'll be miles per hour and so forth. But most of this course is gonna be metric system, so we're gonna get you more acclimated to that. Velocity, lowercase v, also measured in meters per second. Lowercase a is acceleration, which is gonna be measured in meters per second squared. And lowercase d is distance, which will be measured in meters, typically. Now, those are the actual symbols, but let's look at the formulas that address those symbols. For instance, these two up here, for speed and velocity, notice that it's basically the same formula. One way of calculating speed is distance traveled divided by time elapsed, and for velocity, it's also distance traveled divided by time elapsed. So you're probably thinking, well, what's the difference between speed and velocity if they're the same formula? The key here is speed is a scalar quantity. The scalar quantity only has magnitude or numerical value. Velocity, however, is what we call a vector quantity. It has the magnitude, which is a numerical value, but also a direction. For instance, an example of speed would be, say, 55 miles per hour. The common speed limit. That's the speed. Gives us a magnitude of 55 miles per hour. That would not be a, a velocity. The velocity would be something like 55 miles per hour due north because we have the magnitude, that being the 55 miles an hour, but we also have a direction, that being due north. So for it to be a velocity, you have to have magnitude and direction. The vast majority of time, we're gonna be focusing on the magnitude and the direction could be as simple as a positive sign or a negative sign. Because in this chapter, we're working mainly with linear motion. You're either going left or right, or up or down, or north, south, east, west, something like that, where you have a positive direction and you have a negative direction. So velocities can be negative. It has a velocity and a negative direction. But let's look at acceleration. Acceleration is defined as a change in velocity over time. So if we think back change in, use the Greek letter delta, delta V over T. More specifically, you change it is always your final minus emission. Whenever we have an acceleration, the lower, lowercase v by itself is your final velocity. The v sub zero represents your initial velocity, or your starting velocity and your end velocity. Starting velocity would be your initial velocity, end velocity same as final velocity. The reason why we use v sub zero, and there are various different notations, but we use v sub zero to, to denote velocity at a time of zero. So that's your starting velocity. Now, when you throw acceleration into the mix, we have a different formula to find velocity. Because these formulas do not account for acceleration. This is with a constant speed or velocity. If it's constant, there's no acceleration because there's no change. The whole definition of constant is unchanging. But if we look down here, all I did was rearrange our acceleration formula for that final velocity, and we get our final velocity is equal to our initial velocity plus acceleration times time. So if you're asked to find velocity, you have to first ask, is it accelerating or is it constant? If it's a constant velocity, you're just going to use distance divided by time. If the object is accelerating, you're going to have to use your initial velocity plus acceleration times time. And in the next video, I'm going to work out a couple quick examples that show you how to use those formulas.